Well, members of the Ogun State House of Assembly turned the chambers into a boxing arena today, breaking the maze and the process. The commotion was as a result of a disagreement on the composition of Tenders Committee, as advised by the ICPC, which is a consequence of corruption allegation levelled by the ICPC against the Speaker. Last week, the Speaker tried to constitute the committee with nominations coming from him and the Governor as alleged by some members, but could not as a result of opposition by some lawmakers. However, the Speaker suspended four lawmakers, Remy Hassan, Adijat Adeleye, John Akinton, and John Obafemi at today's plenary session. This elicited a reaction by the suspended members in their group of 14 by the name Born Again 14, who also announced the suspension of the Speaker and his deputy, which led to a fracas and breaking of the mace. Yet another issue probably that has divided the House is insistence of the BA-14 group that a true debt figure of a good state be made public before a bond request by the said government is granted. <laughs> To what may be described as drama played out today in Abe Okuta, this type of drama is no mere theatric. It's a fracas amongst the lawmakers. The fray began when four members of the House were suspended for what the Speaker and some other members described as anti-House activities. Those members in question are back in the House, led by this man, Honorable Remy Hazan. They have revolted their suspension and in turn suspended the Speaker of the House and other principal officers. The credences are clear. They are looking for simple majority to ensure that they will amend that law. That is the reason behind the suspension, which we have already reversed. Almost state people should be put on notice that we are saying no to Out of the 25 members of the House, 14 of them pitched their camp with Remy Hazan and claiming the simple majority, but for the Honorable Suraj that they can be led group, it's a different story. At the point of adjournment, some of them just walked out. This is on parliament. This is on ruling. And this is a, to me, is, is basically a total disregard you know, to the institution. It was confusion all the way as a chambermen for lawmaking today turned into a chamber of troublemaking. The journalists had their own share of the trouble. They were smoked out with police tear gas. The allegation is high handedness by the Speaker of the House and his supporters over the membership of the State Tender Board and fraud in the award of contracts. The Ogun State House of Assembly is no stranger to crises of this nature. It appears it's a different issue for the same players. The 2008 crisis which degenerated so much for several years leading to the closure of the chambers, violent exchange of words and sometimes punches. But he's very one. One can only pray it will end soon so the house can...